We are posting this video on the website of Pecal Christian School. For those of you who may not have been able to attend the uh, family meeting that uh, was on Thursday night, August the 18th, Pecal Christian School has been working since the early part, the latter part of last year with the Montgomery County Fire Marshal's Office to uh, get the school up to code. Uh, some things changed in 2018 so that we are uh, presenting a safe environment for our children and for our families. <clears throat> part of that process was to get a permit to have a fire alarm system installed uh, on all five of PCAL's buildings there at the church at 242. The uh, environmental county environmental agent would not sign off on a permit because as he looked at it, the church's septic system was not large enough to handle uh, 80 to, to 90 people uh, three days a week. And so immediately we began to try to find a way and because without the permit, without the fire alarm system, we can't have school. So we made contact with First Baptist Church in Grangerland who had a building it was already designed. It had been used for a school several years ago. A great facility, multiple rooms, office, gathering spot, uh, and worked out an arrangement, signed an agreement with them for the school to be on the campus. Now, in the midst of that, we pushed back the start date two weeks to try to get everything formalized and in place. As of last Friday, um, the county environmental office again came back and said, that with the number of students and faculty that we would have on campus, their septic system would not allow us to be on campus as well. Um, so they are now working to upgrade and get some things in place so that PCAL Christian School can be able to use their campus. The good news is that will happen and we will be on the campus at First Baptist Church Grangerland, but we will not be able to pro let me, let me rephrase that. More than likely, we will not be able to have that happen by September the 6th. If it does, then everything I'm telling you is a mute point. But we're praying for the best and planning for the worst. Um, our options were, if we can't meet on that campus, we can't meet on any campus that doesn't have a fire alarm system, that hasn't been approved um, by the fire marshal's office, and so the process for that is somewhat slow and we're not able to do what we need to. Having said all of that, the PCAL Christian School has looked at several options. One, just to close the school. Two, to um, go to a simply virtual online learning process like we did during COVID um, for, the complete, uh, for the complete classes until we can get moved back on to Grangerland. The third was to offer a bit of a hybrid kind of setup where that all of the teaching and all of the classes would be online and then at least one day a week um, faculty and parents would volunteer their time to come and, and meet face-to-face uh, -face with, with, with students to offer tutoring, counseling, help in, in math labs and those kinds of things to, so that students can, can keep up. Also provide our students a chance for some social interaction uh, and, and some things like that so that they don't feel like they're on an island. There's some accountability that can come with that. But the school simply cannot meet and have classes anywhere right now. Um, so what's going to happen is all of our families will be getting an update of when and where those meeting times would be. Um, looks like right now that Tuesdays would be a time for high school students um, to come together to do what they would like to do to be a part of that. How that would work, we're still in the getting lined out. Uh, on Wednesday, elementary students, that would be K, K, K through eighth grade, um, would also have a time for them to come together. Location is not quite nailed down. But basically, it would be uh, at a location where there would be space for those that number of students to come together. Our goal is to be able to have everything in place immediately as the day that the um, permits are signed to be back on the campus. Our teachers are still setting their rooms up at Grangerland. We've got events coming up that we'll be doing on uh, outside, not, not school campus, but events and those kinds of things. Um, I know this is difficult. Some of you may not be able to make this work, and we understand that. But if you can't, 
please let us know so that we can make arrangements. We do have a waiting list for uh, some of our classes that if you're not going to be able to have that spot, that there are others that would love to be a part of the PCAL family. If you have questions about the elementary, you can direct those to Carrie Fernandez. If you have questions about the high school, you can direct those to Karen Parrish. Um, we just want you to know we've tried everything we know to make this work. And as of today, short term, until we get the permits to be on the campus at Rangerland, this is the very best we know how to do. So bear with us, pray for us, and we will talk to you and see you guys online and in person as soon as possible. God bless you.